The more recent bow changes were simply put absolutely freaking glorious. They brought a whole lot of viability to weapons that we didn't really use that much before. For example, do you know we can one-shot idle on Synovius with the Daikyu now? Link in the cards right now for a full demo on that one. It's beautiful. But for today, let's leave the Daikyu alone, which was the big winner of these bow changes, and let's talk about the Cernos Prime, because this one saw some interesting changes as well. The Cernos Prime is a bit of an acquired taste, because it fires a fan of arrows, and I'm not talking about multi-shot, I'm talking about a legitimate fan of arrows, take a look at that. Which can be beautiful when you're dealing with the right situation, right? If you have multiple targets lined up. But if I want consistent single target damage, that is simply not good enough. You gotta switch to your vertical spread by pressing your secondary fire button. The problem with the vertical spread is that it had the same spacing between the arrows as the horizontal spread. So take a look. Now, however, they changed this so it's a whole lot more tight. Let me show you exactly what I mean. Look at that from the same distance as before, so it's a whole lot easier now to get consistent headshots. Not only that, but also the top arrow now lands exactly on the crosshairs, and before, it would land roughly like in the middle of the actual spread, just like it does for the horizontal spread. Take a look. Again, the crosshairs is roughly in the middle, but for the vertical spread, top arrow is on the first one. So again, it's a whole lot easier to get consistent headshots. Now we can legitimately use these two fire modes, one for AoE and one for single target damage, which is a whole lot better than before. Before, because of how the spread would act, you would have to aim roughly at the torso section of your target to get, or hope to get, one or two maybe arrows to land in the target's head. But now you can get mostly all of the arrows on a target's head and allow me to demonstrate. But first, these changes, my friends, haven't really changed the way we build the weapon. So link the cards right now for a full tutorial on how to build the Cernos Prime. Let me show you the final build, however. This one includes a Riven, again, you got a full build guide in the links, but for now we're gonna go with Serration, Multi-Shot with Split Chamber, Critical Chance, Critical Damage Combo with Point Strike Battle Sense, Argon Scope, and Bladed Rounds, because again, this is the quote-unquote final build. This is a bleed build with 100 munitions, more critical damage is here simply because we got over 100% crit chance when Argon Scope goes live, and the Cernos Acriata with Critical Damage and Damage. This will make one shots super easy now because outside of the whole usability changes that the Cernos Prime did see, we also got 50% more damage, both for charge shots and quick shots as well. And 10 meters per second extra flight speed as well from 85 up to 95 meters per second. And you might say, that's not a big deal, but in actual gameplay, you kind of feel it, you gotta adjust your aiming and all whatnot. Keep in mind that there is no difference uh, in terms of stats from horizontal spread to vertical spread, so same damage, same critical chance, critical multiplier, status chance, etc, etc. And the Riven Dispo, as you can see, is 4 out of 5. We're gonna be spawning in some Corrupted Heavy Goons, level 120, and let me show you what the Cernos Prime can do now. What it could do before, only better and easier. So we're gonna go for a vertical spread. Straight for headshots, first I don't want to make use out of the punch rule, so we're gonna go like this, a single shot in my target, 13,000 bleed, but if I use the punch rule, of course I'm gonna be able to hit multiple targets at the same time, and it's, it's gonna be a double kill with a single shot. Now I want to show you how many of these arrows land in a target's head, if I get a properly aimed shot. Let's take 20 meters, I think 20 meters is more than respectable, go for a straight headshot, it goes through the first target and all of the arrows basically land in the head of the second target and it's still bleeding 13,000 plus on it. So as you can see, it's a whole lot easier now than it was before. Don't get me wrong, the Cernos Prime was not a slouch before, definitely not, but it, she was a bit more difficult. A bit harder to control, now you get, can get more consistent single target damage with less effort. Now, of course, there's one more thing which I want to do. Some of you guys ask me, hey, why do you show weapons with Mirage Prime? Because it's fun! <laughs> How is that not obvious? It is showcasing what a weapon could theoretically do if you have everything going for you. So we're never gonna stop showcasing weapons with Warframe buffs. I mean, that's silly. In a mission, you will get some buffs, right? Well, at least some of them. Lady Mirage Prime, and for her, we're gonna be using... What are we gonna be using? Rifle Amp, yes, 27% extra damage, it's not a huge deal, so if you feel like going for your, uh, whatever, corrosive projection, that's a better idea versus Grenier, or your energy siphon growing power, go for whatever you want. 
Arcane Avenger, however, is one of the most powerful arcanes in the game. That's a 30% critical chance boost bonus additive after, so it stacks on top of what you already have. Doesn't care about the base critical chance of the weapon. It applies to your primary, it applies to your secondary, and to your melee as well. Again, one of the most powerful arcanes in the game. And yes, it does double stack. Link the cards right now for a full demonstration on that one and a full tutorial on arcanes. Now, Oh damn, I forgot again, didn't I? Vigilante mods on a sentinel, so here's what you can do, guys. In case you don't know by now, get any sentinel you want with whatever weapon, and on that weapon, make sure to have any vigilante mods that you don't already have on your primary weapon. So for example, in my case, I have no vigilante mods whatsoever, so I'm gonna go with supplies, armaments, offense, and fervor. That means 20% chance to enhance critical hits from primary weapons, and you might say, yeah, but that doesn't matter, right? Yes, it does matter, because it will apply to your war frames primary weapon even if the sentinel dies and never comes back to life you're still gonna be getting that fantastic bonus now don't get me wrong i'm not trying to make this a bigger deal than it is it's a nice bonus to have but it's not the end all be all it's not the same as getting critical chance it's a different mechanic and it applies in a different way again it's a chance to enhance critical hits so bear that one in mind it's not a critical chance per se now, finally, for those Corrupted Heavy Goons, level 120, and we're gonna be unpausing the AI so they can hit me and I can get my buffs. I'm gonna activate my Fae ability for a fantastic damage increase, as well as the lovely clones. First, a horizontal spread. Let's go AoE fashion. Take a look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely freaking beautiful. Now, let's change to the vertical spread. Go for a straight headshot. Take a look at that damage. I don't even need to wait for the bleeds. I mean, why even wait for bleeds? I don't even need to get all of the arrows to land on... Look at that. That was just, like, pure freaking luck. The damage of this weapon cannot be denied. It's a whole lot more powerful now than it was before. And again, if we're getting 2,000 likes on this vid, I'm gonna showcase a build versus Eidolons and all whatnot. As always, my name is Blazar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you enjoy the content. If you got any sorts of feedback for me, I would love to read it in the comment section down below. Oh, also in the comment section down below, if you guys want to suggest any particular review or piece of content. In all honesty, I can't exactly promise you that it will be done by next time or even within a week, but I can promise you that I will be reading for each and every comment. You can also find me on Twitch, Facebook, Twitter, all the usual places. And if you love the content, consider supporting us via Patreon. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye.